John liked to think of himself as, you know, a rock and roller. Look at the cover of the album Rock and Roll, where he's kind of standing in a doorway looking a little bit like James Dean. He liked to think of himself as the guy in the black leather pants and, you know, the, the kind of that Brando vibe with the leather jacket and the attitude. And, of course, that was a real part of John. The part that I remember most and love the most was the, fl the flip side of that coin. He was a very soft, romantic, old-fashioned kind of guy who preferred preparing tea for the guests at the house who hated clutter and newspaper and liked neatness and hygiene. I interviewed about uh, 2,000 people when I was on the radio. Most of them were, or many of them were in rock and roll, a lot of them were guitarists. When you shook hands with them, one of the first things you noticed was their fingers were all calloused. John had the softest hands of any man that I ever shook. Look at the old Gruen pictures. He had muscleless arms, classic face. In his quietest moments, he was soft, not caustic, gentle. Watching him cradling Sean at night, taking him to bed, singing songs to him, lullabies, is the John that I remember. I wish you could have been there for that experience.